you dreamt of becoming doctor took that extra step and went for mbbs abroad and now to practice in india you need to qualify that fmg examination which is going to be held on 4th of june 2022 in this video we have five different fmg qualified students giving one single tip each for the last 14 days in which they believe in the most and the fifth one is really special so make sure you watch the video till the end the reason why i chose the us family is Yeah. First yeah. of all, we have Dr. Subhav Ramnani, aka Mad About Medicine. He is a YouTuber, Instagrammer, podcast creator, and what not. Talking about his three top do's and don't tips in the last fourteen days. Hey guys, this is Dr. Subhav Ramnani, and you might know me as Mad About Medicine. So let's just go straight with it. You are preparing for FMG, and I have passed FMG. And these are my three most important don'ts, the things you should not do in the last fourteen days of your FMG. Number one, don't compare yourself with others. Trust your preparation. Comparison will only lead to anxiety. Number two, this is not the time to study new material. Whatever you have studied. revise that and just be confident with that number 3 don't juggle between resources trust the resource which you are using right now it can be one resource or two resource so what should you do here are the three things that you should do and you should be doing in the last 14 days number 1 give lots of mock exams and try to learn from those mock exams try to learn your weak subjects uh, analyze the mock exams and learn from the mistakes number 2 you should you should review the snapshot images the last uh you know last minute images of especially from pathology radiology and obstetrics gynecology and number 3 revising all the high yield points which you have marked throughout your preparation and this will serve as a last minute revision and i'm sure you'll be good to go and best of luck for this fmg next we have dr ekanth tiwari who is the founder of ace med and also a ted talk speaker talking about his mindset of either go hard or go home in the last 14 days hello everyone i am dr ekanth tiwari and i have recently cleared fmg december 2021 in my very first attempt with a score of 210 and i am also the co-founder of ace med the mindset which we must have before the any few days and if i have to describe it in one word it would be aggressive it's no more the time when you are running the marathon it has converted itself into a sprint now and if you have seen those olympics 100 meter or 200 meter race then you will realize quite a few things first at the starting everybody is at the same level second it doesn't matter how did you start good or poor it only matters how will you finish the race so if you would ask me i will say we must be ready to give it our all we should not worry about but what strategy to follow in this final few days there should be only one strategy to follow that i will do whatever it takes to achieve my dream sleep no sleep it really doesn't matter if you really want to stay awake all night in order to study do it if you want to relax in between for two days uh, before starting studying aggressively do it and don't worry about those distracting arguments that you make uh, inside your head what about my health what about my energy what about my mental peace mental health give this last few days your all and it will compensate for all those months that you might have wasted before do not go gentle into that good night rage rage against the dying of the light next we have dr kritika sen she is scored 229 in her very first attempt talking about what she did academically and also what she did to keep her mind at the right track hello everyone this is dr kritika sen i did my mbbs from ssr medical college mauritius and right now i'm doing my internship from gms at 16 last two weeks of my examination i was very stressed and to relieve the stress i used to talk to my friends and family what's something that motivates me some music or some movie of some kind during last 14 days i was focusing mainly on my strong subjects uh, high yield topics uh, image based questions pyqs i used to do 50 to 100 of them every day whenever i didn't felt like studying i used to watch rapid revision of psm specially or obgy because these two are very high yield subject i slept for 6 to 7 hours one day before my exam i kept my documents ready beforehand one thing i focused on was not changing my answers during the exam i went with my gut next we have have someone from my very own university giving some tips about the last 14 days of fmg examination dr arman thakur this is dr arman thakur i've completed my mbbs from china uh, shyamin medical university and now i'm working as a doctor in india three simple and easy tips to many follow get in the last 14 days of my exam number one commitment to your studies you need to study regularly there's no shortcut number two is repeated revision last year 14 days mein kuch naya padhne se better ye hota hai ki jo aapko already apne padh rakha 
है उसको बार 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 रिवाइज करो उसी टॉपिक को बार बार पढ़ो ताकि उसमें एक भी मिस्टेक होने का कोई चांस ना बचे थर्ड एंड लास्ट एडवाइस मैं देना चाहता हूँ दैट इज डू वॉच द यूट्यूब वीडियो ऑफ दीज यूट्यूब चैनल लाइक प्रेपलाइड अन अकेडमी एंड मैरो वो लास्ट डेज में एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बता रहे हैं जिनका एग्जाम में आने की प्रॉबिलिटी बहुत ज्यादा होती है एंड उसके अलावा यू जस्ट नीड अटल लक डोंट वरी डोंट पैनिक बिलीव इन योर सेल्फ एंड यूल मेक इट गुड लक फॉर द एग्जाम Life is all about figuring out what's best for you and it's not really necessary to walk upon the path that others tell you to. Next we have Dr. Ishwari Chandran who went for USMLE instead of FMG and scored 232 in USMLE step 1, 240 in USMLE step 2. Telling about her journey, why she went for the USMLE instead of FMG E and sharing a some part of her journey. Hey everyone, I'm Ishwari. I graduated from Georgetown University in July 2021 and I've matched at an internal medicine resident residency program in New York. I took step 1 in October 2019 which was like the start of 5th year and I took step 2 in March 2021 which was in the middle of 6th year. Then I graduated in July and immediately applied for the match. The reason why I chose the US MD is because once I complete residency in the US I will be able to practice medicine in many other countries. So that sort of opens a lot of options and gives me a lot of flexibility. So I think that was one of the main reasons. The second reason reason is the fact that you will be given a salary during residency in the US so that way i felt it would make me financially independent earlier as compared to other countries the third reason is just the education system in the US because see i have always been someone who can't just study i always love doing other things as well and in the US they just don't focus on your scores they just see that you develop holistically so that way i felt that it would be like a better fit for me honestly there are always pros and cons to everything be it US MD lab fmg e everything so the only advice i have for you guys is to understand and gather information about each of these parts and see which one is best for you and which one aligns with your priorities cuz like i said before what's good for someone may not be good for you so if you're pretty confused i'd say you can start by speaking to people who have taken each of these parts try to understand what advantages are there what disadvantages are there so that you can choose what is best for you so in the last two weeks i was basically doing just self assessments and watching videos for the top that i still found challenging so basically my city did not have a prometic center so i had to travel to beijing in order to take the exam there so two of my friends had come with me because we were traveling to new places trying food and just having fun so that sort of helped me take my mind off step one but still if you're in there when we were in the flight i just asked them to quiz me and stuff like that so i feel i was really fortunate enough to have like friends accompany me and take my mind off the exam I know that I don't make a lot of videos of this kind and I was also not the best person to talk about FMG examination as I am just a third year medical student right now all the best to all the seniors who will be giving FMG this year